If you have a high GPA, but you just don't have a very good MCAT score, then this is gonna be the video for you. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Michael, I'm a first year medical student, and I help a ton of pre-med students get into medical school. And so, one of the most commonly asked questions I've been getting lately is, I have a really good GPA, but my MCAT is really, really low. What do you recommend for me on steps moving forward towards applying to medical school? So in today's video, that's what I'm gonna be covering today. And so if you have a very good GPA, but you just don't have a good MCAT score, then this is definitely gonna be a video that you're gonna wanna stick around for. But before we get started, if you guys didn't already know, I do offer pre-med advising. And so if you guys want to book a one-on-one -on -one consult with me, you guys will be able to find my Facebook link down below in the description. All right, so if you have a really high GPA and you just don't have a very good MCAT score, there's two options, in my opinion, that you're gonna have. So the first option that you have is very simple. It's retake the MCAT because if you have a high GPA, then obviously that's not what's gonna keep you from getting into medical school. And so you need to really start to focus only and solely on your MCAT score. Now I know this is easier said than done because the MCAT is a very difficult exam. And so if you guys need any help, you know, figuring out how to properly prepare for the MCAT, I highly recommend booking a consult with me because I'm gonna be able to give you guys some really good advice, tips, and resources to help you guys study for the MCAT. Now I know that's the option that not many people are gonna like to hear, but it's the honest truth, you guys. If you have a high GPA and you just don't have a very high MCAT score, that's really the only component of your application that you need to be focusing on. Now, that being said, this option is only gonna work if the rest of your application is solid. So as long as you have really good clinical experience, really good shadowing hours, volunteering, and all of those extracurricular activities, then just focus on your MCAT because that's gonna be a huge, huge component to your application and it's something that medical schools will filter your application out in a heartbeat if your MCAT score is not above their minimum standards. Okay, so the second option is doing a special master's program. Now there is a little bit of a twist to just doing any sort of special master's program. And if you guys watched my last video I did on special master's programs offered at MD medical schools, you guys are actually the exception to that video because in that video, I advise people to mostly focus on DO schools that offer special master's programs. But for people like you guys that have a really good GPA and just need to focus on your MCAT, doing a special master's program at an MD medical school could be what gets you guys into medical school. And so the reason you wanna focus on special master's programs offered by MD medical schools is because in order to get into one of these programs, you have to have a really competitive GPA. And so for people like you guys, you guys do have a very high and a very competitive GPA. And so it's gonna qualify you guys to actually get into one of these programs. But if you guys are not familiar with special master's programs, the majority of students that do them are people that don't really have a very high GPA. And so they go into these programs needing to boost their GPA and prove to medical schools that they can handle a rigorous curriculum. And so the reason you guys are different, besides the fact that you already have a high GPA, is medical schools know that you can handle a rigorous curriculum and that is a requirement that these MD medical schools have when looking at your application for their SMP programs. Now, once you guys start doing a little bit of research on MD medical schools that offer special master's programs, you might find quite a bit of schools that actually have an MCAT minimum. And so generally that minimum is right around a 500. And so for a lot of schools, if you don't have a 500 MCAT, then most likely you won't be accepted into a special master's program at an MD school. And at that point, you might want to consider, you know, either retaking the MCAT and doing better 
or going to a DO school and doing a special master's program there. If your GPA is extremely high, I'm talking about a 3.9, a 4.0, and your MCAT is below a 500, you most likely can still get into a medical school, whether that be an MD or a DO. Now, you probably have a better shot at getting into a DO medical school just because MD medical schools and their application process is much more strict than what DO schools require. But let's just say that you guys get accepted into a special master's program at an MD medical school. So what are your chances now of actually completing the program and going on to medical school. And after doing a little bit of research, you guys actually have about a 90% chance of getting into medical school upon completion of a special master's program at an MD medical school. Now the reason that percentage is so high is because of the difficulty to actually get into one of these SMP programs. And so unfortunately for people like you guys that have a really good GPA and just struggle with the MCAT, you guys are in a very unique situation because you have a lot of different options, but it just kind of comes down to what option best fits your circumstances, um, your lifestyle and basically what you want to accomplish with regards to getting into medical school. And that's one of the reasons I offer pre-med advising. It's a little bit more advanced than undergraduate pre-med advisors can handle. And honestly, I didn't have a very good experience with my pre-med advisor during undergrad. And that's one of the reasons that I wanted to start advising pre-med students because there's a lot of misinformation out there and I don't want you guys to lose time, to waste money, um, and to believe that you guys can't do it just because of a stupid number. So if you guys want to talk with me about your individual situation, the link to my Facebook page is down below. I highly recommend coming and talking with me. And so basically just to recap your guys' options, if you do have a high GPA and a low MCAT, you can retake the MCAT, you can do a special master's program offered by an MD medical school, or you can simply just apply to a DO medical school and see if you get in. Now, you can do a lot of these things simultaneously, and I'm sure you guys already know that, but if you don't, that's why I recommend coming and talking with me so that we can figure out the quickest way for you guys to get into medical school, the most cost efficient way for you guys to get into medical school. And that way you guys aren't losing time, money, and you're not stressing about if you made the right decision. So guys, I hope that this video helped clear up some misinformation out there, some myths, and I hope you guys are feeling a little bit more confident on getting into medical school now because you guys worked your tails off during undergrad. So with that being said, guys, if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, Give this video a like and I hope to see you guys in my next video.